And I think I'll just put a Game Boy behind here. Keep it prepped up. Hmm. Okay, let's see how... Well, oh, no, no, let's tilt it a little forward. That's the issue. Okay, tilt forward. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Honestly, that looks better to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. So the only other thing I can do is is kind of slide everything slightly forward. So yeah, basically to where you can't see the edge of the binder right here. Yeah. So let's slide slightly forward. How about right there? Let's try that. Let's try that. Take a look at my computer here. Um, okay. We're getting there, boys and girls. We're getting there. We're getting there. Not perfectly centered, but good enough. <laughs> the main thing we're going for is uh, to, yeah, get rid of that extra, you know, space. Uh, okay. Go ahead, you <laughs> kept them waiting long enough. I guess I can set this, because um, the uh, hamburger, the hamburger card only has 2,000, so that doesn't really change the equation. Yeah. Hmm. This is an interesting duel. I'm pretty, pretty sure he has summon skull too, so... What's he waiting on? Well, that's something, I guess. But, sure. It's time for a burger. Oh my god. No way. No way. Wow, he just did that. He just used Magic Jammer. Hmm. Okay, you can... Okay. No more Mr. Nice Flood. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Like, uh, like, like I said, the problem is... Um, yeah, this only has 2,000, so... And it is a warrior, so... You know. I guess I could have thrown Ham, ham Hungry Burger away, but... Oh, no! No, 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 not like this. We lost. We lost, guys. Oh! Shish kebab. Shawshank Redemption. Shaw. Chicago. <laughs> Well, I guess we do have 1,400 life points, but man, dude, that was brutal. All right. uh, let's take out Mystical Elf, actually. Wow. Yugi must have believed in the heart of the cards harder than we did. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, man. That was rough. Is he gonna do it again? Wow. Okay. High roller. Big mistake. Big mistake, Yugi. Wow. Justice. 
justice in this world. Wow. Again, we probably shouldn't have won that one, but, uh... Alright. Well... The good part is we beat Yugi. The bad part... Um... Yugi kind of softens up for the final opponent of the triples, so... Hmm... I'll have to play really good here. Really, 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 really good. So, wish me luck. We can do this. We have a slight chance. Hmm. Good start. Good start. Okay. Bean sword. Turn in, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that does give us a thousand life points, which I like. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's just attack first. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jar of Greed. Yeah, this guy loves Jar of Greed, by the way. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's what I figured, Shimon. Uh-huh. That's why I didn't summon a second monster, in case you were wondering. Oh man, I've dueled this guy way too many times in our Let's Play of Dawn of Destiny. <laughs> oh my god. Now, I expect a trap card here, like trap hole, or something. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Basically, we're getting rid of his trap cards with um, our like lower level monsters. So, all right. Okay. Bad. Well, let's go for it again. Okay. Ne negate attack? What you got? Hmm. Perfect defense, huh? Hmm. Not for long, though. Good thing I didn't play for shit, by the way. That would have definitely helped him. Zombie, baby. Let's do this. Fiend sword. Cut that plant down. It's time to make some bamboo. Kraken. Release the Kraken. <laughs> wow, if we win this triple the first time, I'd be thoroughly shocked. Ooh. We've got a chance. We've got a slight chance. Hmm. Assuming this attack works, we win. Okay. Well, guys, honestly, that was pretty fortunate. Um, with that, we have cleared out the first triple of Grandpa, Shimon, and regular Yugi. So, now putting Shimon at the end here will unlock Shimon for free duel. So, yeah. Which is good. Because he's like the easiest person out of all these three. So, alright. And when you win, you get a choice of an Egyptian god card. And we'll just pick Slifer for no particular reason. Not too much there.
Well, we'll definitely save. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, and we're five cards in. And yeah, uh, in case I didn't say, I am going to be going for all the cards possible to obtain in this game. Um, here on stream. That's the plan for this one. Not necessarily in one stream, but in, you know, several different streams. So, and in case you want to know, there are a total of 1,017 cards in this game. Now, we technically can't get all of those, but uh, we can get pretty close. We can get into the, the 90th percentile, so, yeah, keep that in mind. Let's start with the single duels versus Shimon. And this isn't like the triples, it's just regular 8,000 on 8,000, you know? Alright. Alright. And now that we've finally gotten the triple out of the way, I'm actually gonna, you know. Relax a little bit as far as the gameplay. Uh, ooh, actually, oh man, what a good card. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna uh, actually take a quick break and uh, warm up my food. And I'll be right back and we will continue. So, nice. Man, we got lucky there. Thank you. 
so funny. <laughs> Go with the uh, Black Ninja on Sunset. But, uh, sure, we'll set anti right Jiki. And, you know, I don't see any reason to set Royal Decree. <laughs> Especially when he's not playing any trap cards. It's actually really, really rare for him not to at least play one trap the entire duel, so. If he doesn't, though, it's pretty damn easy. If I have to say so myself. <laughs> so, there you go. Hmm. Well, this may be our lucky day. Huh. Let's assume worst case scenario, that's a penguin. Hmm. Does it really change the equation here? I guess he can survive one turn. Hmm. Okay. It was not a penguin soldier. In that case, we are good, guys. And we'll be picking Slifer a lot of the time against this guy. Uh, that's where his best cards are, for sure. Slifer and Raw for this guy. Doesn't give me anything really too, too good out of Obelisk, but, you know. There's one good card, Penguin Soldier. Welcome to the squad, my loyal friend. There. We've got three new cards there as well. Alright. Uh, Laughing Flowers... You know, it may be better than some of the cards in your default deck, believe it or not. So, as well as Wings of Wicked Flame, so you may want to check that out. Uh, so yeah, default deck. You can actually sort this by like attack stats. So if you go, no, no, no. is it? I think it's Bind. There's a way to do it. Oh, by here, yeah. And then you can go by like attack stat. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a way to do it. Um, right here. Oh, that's right. It changes the main and side deck. That's why. Well, anyway, <laughs> I can just kind of scan and I'll I'll know most of these cards. Gora Turtle is pretty. Giant Turtle is pretty questionable. Um, unless I have Mother Grizzly in this deck. I definitely don't. Um, Mystic Probe is also pretty questionable. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll side this out. Uh, what else? Sagi's. Yeah, I'll side out Sagi. Um, side out Wings. Anything got less than 900. Not really, but you know, some sometimes in these starter decks, one of the starter decks does, like for example, Blocker. It's got good defense though, but yeah, in one of the starter decks, there is a card with something less than 900, believe it or not. So, pretty crazy, but yeah. Yeah, this game can be a little, uh, how shall we say, unforgiving. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're just gonna place up a little more duels, and I'm gonna eat a little more bread. Uh, ultimately, what we want from Simon? Well, uh, as many different cards as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll take uh, as many Penguin Soldiers or other Flippy Boys he can give us. Uh, this guy can also drop like Sandman, Manger Bug, Jar of Greed, or uh, Upstart Goblin. And he's got quite a variety of good stuff. And Backup Soldier. So, can he drop Trap Hole? I remember. But, yeah. Well, we got plenty of life points. Let's just see what happens here. Wow, I wish he dropped that card. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, the first guy, like one of the first duelists in the, uh, in the triple. Yeah, this guy has Torrential Tribute. This game's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have fun.
that's a good card. Well, he'll get a trap card for sure now. Not bad, Chimo, not bad. I'm proud of you, buddy. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's, uh, let's bait out the magic jammer. Let's go for it. We've got exactly six stars of monsters, so why not? Let's fry up a hamburger. Yeah. Hamburger? Hungry burger, alright. Probably should have waited until I saw him play a uh, penguin soldier, but uh, I couldn't resist playing it, putting it in the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> anyway, here's what hungry burger looks like in this game. Regardless of the coin flip, you'll see it. So, yeah. I knew I should have waited. It's okay, though. <laughs> oh, man, the animation cracks me up, man. <laughs> oh, good. All right. And let's end the turn. Luckily, now that we cleared out his monsters, we can play what's, what's called a little penguin control. You may be wondering, like, Penguin Control, what? Yep, pretty old school strategy. Luckily, it's one that works in this game. So, yeah, you basically, every turn, flip a Penguin Soldier. Bounce this card. Bounce itself. Yep, pretty straightforward. Set back Penguin Soldier. And you just keep attacking with your one monster. Or two, you know, whatever you got. So, Penguin Control, yeah. Basically, it'll keep them off monsters, so... And yeah, sometimes Fairy Box will block the damage. We don't mind. I'm gonna save Harpy's Feather Duster until he has, like, you know, like, five cards face down back there. Because, uh, you know, he's taking five winner each turn. I'm not really worried about it, guys. We've got this guy. And in the meantime, we'll draw more monsters, yeah. So... Yeah. And we, when we get him close to, like, you know, to where he's lower than, uh... 2400? Yeah, we'll dust for everything and uh, sweep this game up. So, yeah, Penguin Control. Pretty strong strategy. So, and eventually these attacks will get through, you know. The AI always calls heads, by the way. So, yeah, if you see it on the Millennium Puzzle, your attack works. So, Sorry, I was <laughs> kind of lost track of what I was doing there. Uh, Duster. Mm -hmm. I figured it was trap All right. Mainly because I had some of the uh, thousand point monster in a while, so. Alright. And let's just finish this guy off. Pretty easy, honestly. You're one of the few to defeat my legendary deck. <laughs> Come on, Chimon, you don't have a legendary deck. Who are you fooling, man? That fiery armor is not too bad, honestly. Okay, we'll take it. 
Another copy of that, 1300 point monster. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, what's 1200 in our deck? Silver Fang? See ya. You just been power crypt. Uh, anything else? Ooh, we got Bean Soldier, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Anything else lower? This is only 11, right? It is level 3, though, which is important, so... Yeah. I think we'll take that out. Corroding Shark. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'll call it good. We'll get a couple more penguins before we uh, take on other ghosts. Once we get three penguins, I'll feel pretty comfortable. To, like taking on the triple again or whatever. Alright. The locker, not bad. Let's just summon the hero Raby. Call it good. Slate Warrior, that's his best monster by far. But don't worry too much, he won't, um, well, you'll see, you'll see. There's actually a little glitch in the AI with Slate Warrior. Well, not necessarily a glitch, but, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say, you'll see, you'll see. The AI plays pretty bad when it comes to Slate Warrior, in particular, so. Jar Greedy. Mm. Oh, man, he has two Jar Greedy, nice. I bet you know not bad at all, bro. Go ahead. And yeah, there it is. So for whatever reason, the AI will default to switching uh, flip monsters, which Slate Warrior is a flip monster, to a uh, defense mode. So as you see right here, yeah. You know, like, sometimes he'll summon it out just to attack you, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, for some weird reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, it happens all the time with the AI and Slate Warrior, so... Yep, pretty weird, but it's a thing in this game. It's a thing, so... The thing in the mud? Well, that's only got 1300 defense, so I don't know why you added that. Oh man, Guardian looks cool in this game. It looks cool in the anime, too. Impressive. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, Panda, you're up. Sure, I'll boost Panda. Alright, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Not really gonna bother with Spellbinding Circle. There's no point against this guy, man. <laughs> she moans the way, way too easy compared to the duelist we have been facing <clears throat> in my uh, Let's Play of Donna Destiny on YouTube, so yeah. But we do need to ultimately play him and a bunch of other people in single duels to get all the cards, so ultimately that's what we're after, as many cards as possible, so the fact that he's easy is kind of nice, honestly. 
Portrait Secret. Yeah, this card looks creepy AF. Yeah, let's just attack with it, just so I can show you guys. Uh, first, though, go with the highest x rater mm -hmm. Barrel Rock. But man, look at this card, man. Creepy when it attacks. Check it out. Yeah, that's... That's one spooky mf -er. Alright, let's see your animation one more time, Guardian. Yeah, we may not have Guardian too much longer in this deck, so... Let's enjoy some of the animations while we can, you know? Alright, well... So far, so good. Let's grab Slifer. Fiery Aubrey, Green Phantom King. Not bad, not bad. And I'll show you guys those cards. Mainly Green Phantom. But yeah, pretty cool card. Yeah, this youthful king of the forest lives in a green world, abundant with trees and wildlife. The highlight here 1600 defense. It's honestly really good for this point of the game, so. And we got the third fire Yaru, so. Alright, does Forest Boost Pyros? It does not. Still, 1300. It's pretty, pretty solid, man. Um, let's get rid of this insect, because even with the boost from Forest, it's weaker than fire Yaru. Uh, move on me. I guess you can go up to 1400 defense, uh, but you have to have the field card, so. Will me, you're on the chopping block, potentially. Uh, but I think Gora, a giant turtle who feeds on flames, yeah. Just the fact that he's level 5 is really bad, so I think we'll side him out. Ansatsu, yeah, I don't like it, you know. It's, it's just basically like, why would you play him when you can just play Axe Raider? But at 1700s, you know, it's okay at this point in the game. It's not, you know. Uh, one thing I will get rid of is Moon Envoy. This card looks pretty cool when it attacks too, it's just, you know, 1100 isn't going to cut it. The only reason Guardian gets to stay is the 1200 defense, so, yeah, it's really not going to cut it. You know, and he doesn't get a boost from either card, either field, so, uh, one thing I do want to check now, though, is see if there's any warriors in the deck, because I'm not too sure. Well, Axe Raider, so, we're definitely going to keep that. Okay. Good to know. I guess this is a warrior too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, uh, should I take on the triple again? You know what? We have gotten a little bit of an upgrade, so let's go back to triple one. Let's put Grandpa Yugi at the end, and uh, try to unlock him for single duels. Alright, of course the biggest challenge here is Yugi, as I'm sure you guys saw last time. Yeah, the AI is pretty defensive with the 2,000 point defense monster, so... Mm -hmm. You can be stuck for quite a while. Soften us up for Yugi. The only good part about him doing that, I know he doesn't have it, another one, so. Yeah, he could have Dark Hole, but he'd have to get rid of his own cards. Which, uh, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I'm talking to you, huh? Right. Turn in, though. Let's see you get past 1600 defense, bro. the life points. I appreciate it. Definitely help me on the next triple. Mm -hmm. right. Still playing around Torrential Tribute is what I'm doing right now. I got a feeling it's Truffle though because he did... Well, no, no. When he summoned I didn't have any... Hmm. Destroyer Girl Mode. That's actually his strongest card. Linger Knight. It's got 1,500 attack. Not bad. Pretty 
good trap there. We'll see that trap hold, buddy. Not bad. What will you do about the Black Ninja? I tribute Phantom King for Ansatsu. Yeah. And I'll read its description, sure. A silent and deadly warrior specializing in assassinations. I spell a negate attack. Oh. It's gotta be backup soldier there. Man, Ansatsu looks cool, bro. Um. So I guess I'll my turn. He'll probably switch everything to defense, so. No need to worry. The AI is pretty defensive in this game. Yeah. Alright, now anything can take out that uh, big old golem there. It's only got a thousand defense, right? Let me just double check here. Yeah. Alright, Mushi Warrior, you're up. Me, 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 no Mushi Warrior. Go for it. Earth Crusher Sword. Yeah, and I'm just about full, man. That pizza was pretty good. Now let's take out what we know we can take out. Stone Ghost. You never know what flippy penguin -y boys may be set. <laughs> you never know. The only way to play around penguins in this game? Well, you basically gotta get lucky, you know. No other way to do it. I see that new face down. So whenever he plays new face down, just be careful when you're summoning, you know what I mean? Watch out for Trap Hole, which is really torrential, you know. Or negate attack, that's fine too. Alright. You know what that we know it's safe to summon again, so Bean Soldier, get out of here, bro. I guess I can switch meaning we should do defense. On the elf chance something crazy happens. And sure, I'll finally set spellbinding, but uh, as you see this guy doesn't have like the most, you know, aggressive strategy in the world, so yeah. Feel free to keep it in your hand, just so you don't have to uh, get annoyed by the prompts, you know what I mean? <laughs> Forest, that is welcome, because I have Bean Soldier. See if he has Magic Chamber. Uh, okay. He does have some cards that can get boosted by Forest. Uh, I'm gonna go with Amazon of the Seas here. I'm gonna keep Axe Raider, in case something crazy happens, like Dark Hole. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's... I am a man true to my word. Like I said, he does have some cards that are boosted by Forest. Living Vols is one of them. Right. But let's just try to get rid of as many as possible. There's the penguin. Alright, alright. Alright. Sorry, Ansatsu. You're going back. Uh, what? He only sent Bean Soldier back? <laughs> Why? I'm sorry, what? Why not say it on top two? It's a tribute monster, bruh. Okay, so he's getting back the mud thing, the golem. Only thing we gotta watch out for there is destroyer golem. If he, like, I don't know, attributes to the dunes on Tatsu, he could get aggressive. But we've got, uh, spellbinding circles, so... Alright, any traps, Shimo? Hmm, no, okay. Bean soldiers coming back down. Time for the bean daddy. <laughs> Alright. Ah, beautiful trainer. Keep that in mind. Right. Uh, mush, mini Mushu attack. This one. Ah, Abyss Flower. Yeah, it turns out the forest field is actually really, 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 really good for this guy. But, uh, looks like we finished him off here. And ultimately, yeah, I guess he did damage us a little bit, but he also healed us back with a, with a Absar Goblin, so thanks. You know. Alright, we will have a really, 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 really good challenge though against Yugi though, so definitely wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Um, anything I want to side? Well, no, I don't have any life point gaining cards on the side. If I did, believe you me, I'd add them, but, uh, yeah, honorable duel, huh? Let's see. Oh, let me grab something to drink here. Drinking some uh, orange soda. <sighs> Not bad. Well, the Royal Decree is a nice sight to see. As I'm sure you guys know, negates all traps. 
I guess we'll go Green King and then the turn. Alright, best case scenario, Yuki sets like four face downs back there. I guess I can crash with that if I really want to. Hmm. Huh. Don't think I do, to be quite frank. Uh, I'll just set another monster. Call it good. Hmm. I see that face down card, Yogi. So I'm gonna play Royal Decree. Summon Fire Yaru over here. Yeah, and the AI doesn't really play well with Royal Decree, as you see there. I will crash. The main reason is, like I said in the other duel, where he stalled us out a bunch. Yugi has a ton of two tribute monsters. So, you know, one monster, I'm okay with him having two. I prefer not, you know what I mean, so. Yeah. Bean Soldier, perfect. Thank you, Heart of the Cards, so we can take out Feral Imp there. Now, his face count probably does have 2,000 events. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright, you, your move. What you got, you? Rageki? <laughs> you know Yugi has it if we saw a duel's like Shibo. Play it? You, you already know Yugi has Raigeki. Alright, let's try to attack here. I have a feeling both of these attacks are gonna fail. Release the Kraken. Oh. Okay. Yugi throwing us a bone here, so to speak. Alright, and let's, uh. Let's not attack. I'll end my turn, Yugi. One face down. Uh-huh. Oh, we win. That's why I want three penguins, guys. Ooh, and I get to show you guys a cool summon. Okay. Check it out, you. Got penguin soldier, so I'll return this card to the hand. And I'll return this card to the hand. And now I activate the ritual for Zara. Yeah, boy. Small tribute will meet. And Ogre. Meeting eight stars of tributes. Now go, Sarah the Matt! Can't believe we got to show our boss monster this early. Go, Evidence Claw! You got Karibo, bro? Oh, okay, okay. Yuki, regular Yuki does have Karibo in his deck, though, so. You might want to watch out for that. I mean, as you see in the background, you know. Maybe you can share some of your strategies. Yeah, maybe. My strategy? Penguins. That's it. That's my strategy. Do it based on skill, but there's always a little luck. So don't be disappointed when your luck runs out. Hyo, hyo, hyo. strategy, if I haven't mentioned it yet, is Exodia the Forbidden One. Pretty challenging strategy, honestly. And it's a little scary, to be quite frank. Because hmm, with cards like Mystic Tomato, you know, eventually he's going to get sand down. And it's just like, well, you know he's got one piece guaranteed. Best bet against him? You've got Robin Goblin, which, yeah, you can win pretty early on here. What's your best bet? <coughs> your other best bet is hope the AI is the AI and plays really, 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 really dumb by discarding their own Exodia pieces, particularly the head, because I don't think there's a way for him to get back the head of Exodia. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am, so... I 
turn in, but... Haven't seen any jars of greed from Grandpa. He has three of them. He has three jar of greed, so... That just tells me that back row back there is a whole hot mess of stuff. Well, let's see if he's got Torrential Tribute. Huh. I did not expect that summon to go through. Okay. Alright. He's gotta have Negate Attack then. That's the only... yeah. I'm guessing two backup soldiers? Negate Attack? I don't know what the third card could be. Let's try Muyan Carry. Maybe he's got a Magic Jammer. Okay. And the turn. What you got, Gramps? That's a lot of back row, amigo. Man, where's that uh, Harpy's Feather Duster when we need it? I guess we don't technically need it. <laughs> There's the jar. Alright, alright. So it should still be safe to summon now. If I want. Which I probably will do. What you got with tomato, bro? Yeah, see, this is kind of what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, Sand Man is uh, scary. It's scary, man. It, it really is. But uh, not much I can do about it. You know, basically once it's on the field, you kind of have to send it to the graveyard at some point, right? So, yeah. I will tribute for Amphibian Beast while it's safe. Because uh, this guy does have 2,000 uh, defense point monsters. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, man, saying it, I wish there was something I could do about it, but, hey, you kind of just have to let him take the piece, man. There's not really a way around it, you know. Uh, Selvalfang. Attack mode. I guess I can equip Legendary Sword, but, just like Shimon, this guy's got penguins too, so he may want to be careful. Usually I always attack what I know I can beat, and then that way, you know, the retribution from like, eh, man, you fuck, penguin, etc. ain't so bad, you know. Celtic Guardian. Well, at least we'll get rid of all of his monsters. I don't know what his last set card is, but, uh, and if you want, okay. Yeah, he also has stuff like this, so, it's real. It's really a coin toss as far as is Grandpa going to be really, really, really good and uh, stall you out, or is he going to be really bad and just you know <laughs> send stuff like Phantom to Wan? It's really just a matter of luck, and you can't really predict what his deck's going to do. To be quite frank, so okay. yeah. anyway, we'll just try to attack here. Ah, there's the Magic Jammer. The AI may be a little smarter than I thought. I didn't think he had this because, uh, you know, Muya and Curry went through, but uh, good on you, good on you, Gramps. I'm proud of you. Neo the Magic Swordsman. It's one of those better cards. Good thing we got Amphibian Beast up in here. Yeah, Neo. I think you can actually get that card from the Obelisk statue from this guy, so. That alone may be worth unlocking Grandpa, you know. Yeah. Can you get the Exodia pieces? I don't quite remember if you can get all of them. Um, let's just pick her off for no particular reason. Uh, yeah, yeah. First triple. <laughs> you can't expect too much. And speaking of that, really all of the triples, uh... All the cards you win from triple duels are honestly pretty stingy. As far as the qual card quality, yeah, there are some good cards you can win, but uh, yeah, most of the good cards you win are actually going to be here in single duel, trust me. But uh, that's just, uh, or I, hey, I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Let me know if, like, you've gotten, like, really good spells and traps and triple duels, and just, you know, you never get good cards in singles. Uh, for me, my luck is definitely the other way around. Single duels seem to be the way to go. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just my luck, though. I don't know, maybe yours is absurd, you know? That's always a possibility. So.
Sorry, I had to make sure we were still streaming there. Uh, Neo, um, that's pretty good. I'll set this and, uh, call it good, buddy. Sorry, I'm uh, just downloading some of these VODs here while Grandpa does his thing. Uh, yeah, we gotta watch out for traps. Um, the bad part is he has Neo, so... What do you think here? Huh. You know what? If he plays Torrential, that honestly helps us. So, go. Be ball boy. Okay. It's fine by me, you know. You wanna trap hole a beaver? That's fine. I was just tra gonna try to crash there. Eh, you know what, on second thought, he definitely has the game tag yet. Three face downs? Come on. I wasn't born yesterday, man. He's gotta have a game tag. Good, good card. Let's see if he's got Torrential. Or Trap Hole. Hmm. Let's make him waste the negate attack. What? Turn went better than expected. Three face sounds that don't do squat? Ooh. Ah, finally getting aggressive, huh? I see, I see. Yeah, that's why Samyin can be quite dangerous, because uh, usually he'll use that on Samyin, so. Watch out. New face down scaring me. Especially if he negates the attack is the problem. Because he can switch Aquamador to defense. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about. Remember I said like, oh yeah, Grandpa plays 2,000 defenders. Yeah, Aquamador is pretty good, you know, so. Watch out for that. gladly accept the 400 grandpa. Hmm. Well, I doubt it'll work. Let's go with Axe Raider and the Sword combo. Let's see that Magic Jammer, amigo. Backup Soldier too, so anytime he discards an Exodia piece, uh, you're not necessarily safe, so to speak. So don't get no, don't get too overconfident. Go ahead. Go ahead, Grandpa. Should I crash? That answers a lot of my questions, honestly. Thank you, Fisher Beast. Now, if I know the AI like I think I do, he should switch to defense unless he ride Gekis. Good. Yeah, the AI cheats in this game, so, you know, they can read the stats of your face downs. Now, you may be thinking, but like, you know, Yugi's attacked it to our face downs a couple times and taken damage. Why would the AI do that? Hey. <laughs> Just because they can uh, read your stats doesn't mean the AI is smart or or good, you know. So Just saying though, the AI does cheat in this game, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's start being one controlling. And I'm not gonna summon because we've only seen one trap pull out of him, right? Yeah, Torrential would be really bad here, so 
Yeah, let's just try to take out this last monster. Good, it's just Jin. Get in, Jin. Alright. <laughs> I forget what uh, TV show that's from. Ah, backup soldier, huh? Huh. You know, in that case... Hmm. I'm just so... I'm gonna go for it, guys. Trackle? Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have, but, you know, it's okay. We got it out of the way. Sorry, amphibian beast. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have. Now, the bad part is, I think he got back Aquamador. The good part is, well, we've got people in control, so... Yeah, he did get back Aquamador. So, basically, every turn I have to do this... I'm not sure if he's setting Aquamador or not, but uh, <laughs> we're just going to keep playing it on the safe side. Yep. And the best way for him to break this would be to draw Neo and just attack my Penguin Soldier. So, I don't know if he can do that, though. We'll see. Alright, as far as good cards from Grandpa, yeah, like I said, I think Neo's an obelisk. And he's got good uh, traps and spells in both... Uh, Slifer and Raw, so really any statue is good from Grandpa. That's a nice sight to see. Okay. Don't have to worry about Raijiki no more. Unless this guy's got seven tools, which he might. Draw Greed. Predictable. <laughs> man, I played this game a little too much. Let's set a field card. Oh, man. Never thought I'd be doing that, but uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, I love Penguin Control, though. I love everything about this game, really. But yeah, for the next, uh, yeah, I don't know how many streams it's gonna take me, but uh, yeah, for the next few streams, we're just gonna try to collect every card, man. I don't know if I'll post these bots to YouTube necessarily, but uh, eh, you know, the main reason I don't think I'll post them, you know, at least right away is because uh, I've actually got a couple of Let's Plays of Donna Destiny going on my YouTube right now. And basically until I finish them, I don't want to conflict with the... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? I don't want to conflict with the uh, viewing experience, so to say. The ambiance. The, uh, yeah. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Uh, Alright, I probably better pay attention here. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Clutch. Uh, he's got the second magic jammer, though. What am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, I knew he had the second one, because, uh... Yeah. You can just tell sometimes from the way... The, if you're wondering how I knew, he played the first magic jammer here, so... And that card had been face down since turn one, so... It's all good, though. Draw green, yep. He might be close to Exodia here. Honestly. Uh, the field is clear, though, so... Let's just toast him with our favorite monster. Alright, we win. I feel like that was a lot closer than it could have been. But then again, maybe he wasn't close at all. Who knows? Good part is we don't have to find out. Kids need these. They have so little respect for their guidance. Not bad, Sorcerer of the Doom. 1450. Yeah, it's alright. You know, it's probably a lot better than some of the stuff you uh, you have to start, so. And, uh, uh, oh. Did you guys hear that? Hang on, hang on, hang on.
Okie dokie, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I actually have to go take care of something real quick. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. But, uh, yeah, next time we'll keep going for more cards. See ya. Have a good night. Bye-bye.